Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Chimes here, uh, back with more practice. Um, going over red zone. Um, tight flex isn't the best red zone offense because it's so condensed, and there's not a lot of good plays in this formation. There's just, like, two really good plays that you can do a lot of route combos with and you can attack deep with. Mesh spot is, like, the only one that you can play around with in the red zone. PA post shot, you can kind of mess around with in the goal line, as I've shown in the previous videos. Trey Y flex, I have found with levels Y corner, has a lot more red zone potential uh, that you can fit stuff into. So I'm going to show you guys what, what, what I like to do in the red zone. So first of all, you can run inside zone. Trey Y flex inside zone is really good, but uh, say he has good red, uh, run defense out of it, right? You're going to motion your running back out, put him on an out route. What that's going to do is that's going to drag the curl flat outside, away from Mercedes Lewis, my tight end, the A route. And then I'm going to goal line fade my B receiver. I'm not going to streak him. I'm going to goal line fade him. And I'm going to put Shepard on a slant. So you're going to have two reads for this. You're going to have your A route first because it's going to get wide open. And then your Y route. So I'm going to show you guys how open A gets. You're going to throw it before the cut. You're not going to smart route it. You're going to leave it alone because it actually gets covered if you smart route it because he cuts really fast. So you're going to leave it alone. And whatever for whatever reason, the hook curl runs away from it. Uh, he kind of goes to the middle of the field because the goal line fade stretches out the hook curl right here. I'm going to highlight him. This guy stretches out really far into the seam to cover the goal line fade. And that causes this linebacker to want to come more inside to defend the slant that I have on Y. And you're going to see that creates a huge gap in the defense right there. And now I'm going to show you guys the second read. This is against cover three, by the way. I'm going to show you guys the second read right now. You can actually hit uh, Y in a window. He's going to get bumped. The curl flat's going to follow out, and then you can hit him right there. So, it's going to be really hard for the user. I mean, it's going to get open. Um, you know, when you have two reads like this, it's going to be really impossible, especially since they're on the other side of the field. It's going to be impossible for the user to decide which one he wants to go to. So, I mean, see how open that gets? It's going to be pretty much impossible for the user to guard both of those. Uh, the same route combo works against cover two. Show you guys that right now. Uh, Tampa two. I'm gonna show you guys the same route combo. You're gonna have Mercedes Lewis still. Uh, I didn't see if you would have um, Shepard, but we'll find out. So this guy's gonna be in a vertical hook. This guy's going to be in a mid-read. This guy's going to be in a vertical hook. And so, if as you can see, the mid-read is on the left side of the field, lined up on Devontae Adams. There's nobody on Mercedes Lewis. So, basically, he has a free release. And since the mid-read is on the, on the left side of the field, the vertical hook is going to get caught up on, on my running back motioned out, causing Mercedes Lewis to be wide open in the middle of the field. The middle read is just way too far to the left to even be able to contest this pass at all. I honestly think you don't even have to... Um... Well, now that I think about it... Yeah, you should definitely motion out uh, your running back. Because um, it frees up Mercedes Lewis a lot more. And you see right there, I'm going to try to hit the Y route this time to see... Um, if it's if it's possible, so we're gonna motion him out. I wonder if I can motion snap. No, I figured you can't. So obviously we're gonna have him wide open. Eh, he never really gets open. Your read against cover two is definitely Mercedes Lewis. I, there's probably something you can do on this side that might free him up or something. I mean that could be a read. You know, because maybe the user comes from the left side to go jump that Mercedes Lewis route. But for the most part, your your main read here is going to be Mercedes Lewis. Um, just because I don't... 
I don't see... I mean, there might be potential in that right there, but that's super risky. Let me see. Because that, that does look like it, it might be pulling zones apart in a way. So that's actually possible. That's interesting. The goal line fade is really effective against um, zones and stuff. Like, it can, it, it's, it's weird for zones to cover. So, he kind of, whenever I, I'm going to find the pass lead for it. I'm just going to keep going over it so you guys can, ah, my hand, so you guys can see. Um, let's see if there's a better pass lead. I'm pass leading it up right there, but it seems like it's a little behind. So, I'm going to try, I'm just not even going to worry about motioning my running back out. I'm kind of focusing on this right now. Ugh. I will figure this out. Uh, the game glitched out right there, but I think I found the pass lead. Let me try that one more time. And if it doesn't work, I mean, that's obviously not your main read anyways. I mean, look at how open Mercedes Lewis is. So... So it's definitely possible to fit that goal line fade in there if you put a hitch on your Y route. So that is good to know. So that's cover two. And now... I could show you guys another way. Let me, let me show you guys one more way to beat cover three. I think I was experimenting with this. So you put him out there and then you would put Mercedes Lewis on him. A um, out route, and then you just streak uh, your running back. That's another way to beat it, you know. Uh, it's not as effective, it's not as open as you guys saw. So, do what you want with that route combo, but I don't think it's the best. Uh, we'll go back into levels. We're going to try it against cover four, even though this is not a popular defense to run in the... I mean, it is. Against uh, Trips, it might be a popular defense because they want to stop the seam to uh, Shepard. But uh, we're just going to try this against cover four. I actually didn't do this before I started the video, so we're going to see how this works. Um, the slant gets open, but the uh, corner route gets covered. Let me smart route the corner route this time. Let me do that. And then... Oh, geez. That's not what I meant to do right there. <laughs> uh, what if I smart route him out there? Streak him. And do a bunch of weird stuff. And that gets open. So you might actually like doing this route combo. The cover, the, the one where you motion out the tight end. You might want to do that against cover four. Let's see that again. And <laughs> it's like so many defenders around him. I think it's better if you smart route it. Let's see. And I'm going to leave the left side stock. I'm going to see if that makes any difference. Maybe it uh, moves some zones away. Yeah, it's a lot more comfortable to do if you leave um, the left side stock against cover four. So there's a read you have. Obviously, you can't do verticals against... Okay, maybe you can. But yeah, Trey Y Flex's verticals is really good. Um, I'm actually going to go back into other coverages and just show you guys how how good this, this actually is. So we're going to go back into cover three. And we're going to snap the ball. And so that's cover three. And now... We're going to go to cover two. We're going to show you guys cover two. And then cover four, I just showed you guys. Uh, I just chose the wrong play, but it's all right. I'm just audible to it. Cover two, this is what you're going to see. What what was that throw? I, I just don't get it. But uh, let me try that one more time. You can actually hit uh, Y still. 
just motion or just pass lead him inside and it'll get by it every time. The vertical, it's really glitchy. It's a super good play. But uh, it's also really common and it's super jumpable because, I mean, basically, my user can be standing right where that linebacker is that I have highlighted and he can almost pick it. So that's why I don't really like running this unless I know his user isn't very good because he can jump up with someone like Taylor Mays and just pick it. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, how to go against man coverage in the red zone in this formation. And the simple way, I wish there was an RPO because I would so do that. The simple way to go against man coverage would be to run man beating routes literally everywhere you run a man beater you run a man beater and <laughs> just put man beaters everywhere because um trey white flex that's a good thing about trey white flex is um nobody really gets pressed i mean you can press but Mercedes Lewis isn't isn't really he's gonna have a free release. That was my fault. I'm gonna take away this the slant by Shepard. I'm just gonna put him on like a smoke screen or something. There, I'm gonna do that. That looks a little better, less congested. And I'll show you. He's gonna. Did he just drop that? Well, you saw it was open. And so that's how you beat man coverage out of this. Um. Yep, nothing too crazy, you just super simple. <laughs> so, um that's pretty much how you beat everything. I'm gonna go against a play with a three rec. Let me see if I can find a play that has like a three rec zone. Um It doesn't look like it. Maybe Sam likes repress. I, I don't know if that's a three rec or not. Uh, my Xbox just kind of like froze or something right there. That was weird. But this is a blitz, so... Yeah, that's a three rec. So a three rec is a lot better against this. We're going to see how to beat it. It seems like the goal line fade is the best thing to do against the three wreck. So that's going to do it. And thank you guys for watching. Finally uh, found some red zone offense in this freaking playbook. It's, it's a little tough when you get into the red zone with, with gun type flex. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe.